everyone. Uh, thanks, Luke. That was awesome. That was a great overview of Six Door. I'm going to do like the complete opposite and do a super deep dive into just one tool. Um, so a little bit about me. Santiago just covered this. Um, but I'm Priya. I'm a maintainer on the Recore and Cosign projects in Six Door, and I've been working a lot on GA this year. So I just wanted to give a really quick shout out to the GA team. Um, it's been awesome working with you. You did, like, everyone did so much this year, and they totally crushed it, and it's like a huge milestone. I've been looking forward to this moment for a really long time. Um, I'm also a member of the TSC and a software engineer at ChainGuard. So I only have a few minutes to talk to you all today, and I hope I can do two things in this time. So the first one is, I hope I can convince you that it's important to start signing your Git commits. And the second is, I hope I can convince you that it's really easy to start signing your Git commits um, and that you actually start doing it. So please sign your Git commits. This is the major takeaway I hope you get from this talk. So why does it matter? Why do we want to sign our Git commits? So this is six door con. We're going to be hearing a lot about supply chain security today. And your code base really is that first step of your supply chain. And keeping it, it secure is important. Um, malicious commits are one potential way that an attacker could eject bad code into your code base. And then this will propagate along your supply chain. Um, luckily, cryptographically signing your Git commits can be a really easy way to start mitigating the risk of this attack happening to you. So quick crash course in commit signing. So if you've ever set up like a GPG key with Git, um, you might have seen this before, but luckily signing and verifying is just built into the Git CLI. So you can sign a commit with like the git commit dash S with like a capital S for cryptographic signing, and you can verify with git verify commit. But signing with like keys can be challenging. Um, it can be hard to set up these GPG keys. It's hard to like keep them secure. And as a developer, there are like a lot of things you have to think about if you're gonna go down this route. First, like, do you wanna encrypt your key? I for one am definitely guilty of like when I get that prompt on my terminal of like, please do you wanna enter in a password? I just don't put anything in because I can't remember it and I don't wanna keep typing it in. And so I wouldn't really blame anyone else for doing that either. You might also have to think about how often you need to rotate your keys. And as a developer, like you really just want to be writing awesome software every day. Like It's just not something you really want to think about um, and not something you have to worry about. So this is SixWorkCon. You probably guessed that if we combo git commit signing with like the awesome keyless signing properties of SixStore, um, we can have the best of both worlds. So we can sign our git commits, and we don't have to manage keys. And if we like combo wombo these two things, um, we get SixStore's latest project, which is git sign. So if you've ever used Cosign before, you're probably really familiar with this flow. But to be honest, I think GitSign is almost easier to use because it's like a one-time one install. You just configure your repository and you basically just got git commit signing after, the fa after that point. So as a maintainer, I've got like some git repository, I've got my git commit, and I've already installed GitSign and I'm good to go. After that, every time I want to sign a commit, um, I'm going to be taken through the familiar OAuth flow um, that you've probably seen, sign in with my email, prove my identity, and then Fulci is going to issue me a certificate. The certificate is going to have my email embedded, and I'm also going to have a signature over my git commit. Both the signature and the certificate will be included in the transparency log. And so this means that not just you, but anyone with access to this commit can actually verify it and see who signed it, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to do a really quick demo, move over to my terminal. Um, so I've already installed git sign, um, but I need to configure this repo to actually sign with it. So I've got this like cheat sheet script because I can't remember these things on my own. Um, but it's really just like a one-time setup. So basically all I've done here um, is tell git that I want to sign all my commits, sign all my tags, use git sign for signing, and that git sign expects x509 arguments. So now all we have to do is just make a commit. So let's do that. And I'm just gonna make an empty one. And we're immediately sent through like the familiar OAuth flow. I'm just gonna sign in with my email. And easy, yeah, just like one or two extra seconds, but now we have a signed commit. And we can verify this commit just with the verify commit command. 
And yeah, we've got our entry in ReCore. We validated the signature, validated the entry in ReCore, and you can see that I'm the person who signed this commit. Um, one, actually, one more cool thing that we can show. If I just grab the, the commit that I signed, I can head over to this cool UI we've got, which allows us to like visualize entries in the transparency log. So you can actually search specifically by commit. Oh, that's not the right thing. Um, copy and paste the commit shot in there. And yeah, we got some like cool information about the entry we just created. So it was integrated a few seconds ago into the log. We can see the signature. Um, we can see the details of the certificate. So it's still valid for 10 more minutes and it was issued to me. Um, and you can like see the actual entry itself and the verification that was done to prove that it's a valid entry in the overall log. Cool, so that's pretty much it. I wanna say thank you to the GitSign contributors. It's an awesome project and super easy to install, really easy to use. Um, and I hope I've managed to convince you all to install GitSign and start signing your commits today. Thank you so much. Woo!